I saw three of the first houses coming into Bear Creek on fire already, the whole field on fire, both sides of the road. We just left with the clothes on our back and we drove out through fire. You know, I've heard horror stories of families being separated, not knowing where they were gonna be that evening and watching everything be destroyed and having to start from new. So that's been really hard and really traumatic, not only for them, but for everyone in our communities. We know that climate change has been happening now for decades. This is not a new thing. And this fire, the Almeida fire, I think is definitely caused by climate change and it's left behind such toxic materials in the soil, in the air, in the water. All the toxicity that's in our environment for so many reasons, fire or not, definitely impacts the people who don't have the means to deal with it. And they're the most affected I moved to Bear Creek Mobile Home Park because it was a family park. The, the mobile home parks were one area where people of limited incomes could live. The families that lived in the Phoenix Talent area, a lot of them were Latinx families and seniors, and they have been hit the hardest by the fires that happened during the summer. A lot of the homes where our families live were mobile homes that were old. So when they burned down, there was a lot of toxicity. It was a realization where like our families were living already in toxic places. So one of the things that I hope as we move forward is that our community is not an, after, an afterthought. There are um, a lot of uh, agencies that can help people with disaster relief, however, a lot of them only offer English services, so we have been trying to help clients and families that have maybe have fallen through the cracks with this. These families have lost everything. So a lot of these families that were working in the Talent Phoenix area were farm workers. A lot of them work in restaurants and hotels. And the farm workers and their families are the backbone of this community. And they haven't been taken care of or considered. So we have here in the Valley a responsibility to build back for those people. It's not only the cities that need climate justice. Rural Oregon needs climate justice. Our economy depends on low wage workers. Their labor increases everyone else's wealth except their own. Climate justice begins with them. 